Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be making a very simple recipe. Right now I have my oven preheated to 450 degrees and we are going to be making some chicken breast with a delicious walnut parmesan basil pesto sauce. So if you're coming from a traditional diet where, you know, chicken breast, all the lean meats is what you're eating, then this is a great way to still use your chicken breasts but make them extra fatty and up the fat content with a delicious pesto sauce. So I'm going to pull out my breast right here. I'm so used to saying thighs, it's weird saying breast. And we are just going to pat these dry with some paper towels. And you can also pound these out if you want like a thinner breast. I am going to take my nine by 13 casserole dish, which is what we're gonna bake them in. I'm gonna put my breast in here. And we are going to put about two tablespoons of avocado oil, olive oil, whatever you have on hand, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some salt and pepper. Now we are just going to make sure everything's coated well. That looks good to me. And all we're gonna do is pop this in our preheated oven for 15 to 20 minutes until the breasts are fully cooked through. So if you pound them out, it'll take less time, closer to 15, but since they're pretty thick, we're gonna keep it closer to 20 minutes. So while the breasts are in the oven, we are gonna break down this very simple pesto recipe. And this is something you can make in bulk, store in the fridge, eat with your steak. You can top your chicken crust or fathead pizza with it. We've done that and it's absolutely delicious. So really we're just gonna add everything to our blender here and we're gonna process it until it's smooth. So we have three cloves of garlic. I'm not really gonna mince them up because they will get minced in the blender. We're gonna pop those in. One third cup of walnuts, pop those in. I'm gonna cut the stems off this basil, but it's about two cups of basil. Basil smells so good. I always feel like I'm in just like in Italy. Get that in there. And then we have half a cup of grated Parmesan. And again, with this recipe, you can play around with it. You can leave out the cheese, you can do almonds, you can do cashew. And then we're gonna do half a cup of olive oil. So that's gonna be the base, that's the fatty, delicious base. And then just a little salt and pepper. You don't need a ton, the cheese is super salty. And you're getting a lot of flavor from that basil, the garlic. If it doesn't come out to the consistency you like, you can always just add more olive oil. That'll make it thinner. So that's a good bit of pesto right there. This is really high fat and you don't need a ton. Pesto's super flavorful. It's something that I really didn't enjoy pre-keto. Something I really, really love now. This can even be like a great salad dressing if you thin it out with some more olive oil. Should I give it a try? Oh man. It's just so much better when it's like fresh ingredients. So you got the fresh basil. So all we have to do now is wait for the chicken breast to come out of the oven and then we'll slice those up and top them with some pesto and give it a try. All right, the breasts are out of the oven and they are looking good. I've honestly, I haven't done like just like baked chicken breasts in a while. They look good and they're probably still a lot more juicier than they would be if I like pan seared them because it's so easy to make them dry when they're pan seared. Ideally you would let them rest, but we're just gonna go for it. Put a big dollop on each. So this would be great served like on a bed of greens or just on its own. This is like a really perfect filling meal. Yeah, so oven baked chicken is always gonna be so much juicier. Mmm, that is perfect. It's super hearty, like the sauce is hearty, the meat's hearty, this is delicious. At least make the sauce, guys. You're gonna wanna store this and use it with every meal. But yeah, that's our super simple chicken breast recipe with some delicious walnut parmesan pesto. Make this at home, let us know what you think. We'll see you soon.